Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you how to uh, put a 3D model inside Light Studio and then the final result or will be like this. Okay, so let's start. Okay, first let's go to uh, uh, Snap uh, Snapchat Light Studio and see the guideline of 3D object import. Basically, you can uh, use all those uh, uh, 3D modeling software to create your 3D models. Yeah, and those are, for example, like uh, Maya, Cinema 4D, Blender, 3D Max, and more. Yeah, so um, uh, I start, uh, I learned a little bit Maya, and I kind of know a little Blender, and Cinema 4D, I learned it like 10 years ago. So yeah, I had like a, a little bit of uh, 3D modeling skills, yeah. So yeah, and if you are interested in uh, 3D modeling and probably later on, I will create <laughs> a, a, a kind of like a episodes to show like 3D modeling and then a little bit animation, texturing, yeah. So yeah, why not? So yeah, so that's the, the uh, project that I will do in the future. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I would suggest uh, if you know how to design in a 3D model uh, software, it's better to use FBX or OBJ. Yeah, that's what I suggest. I know there, uh, if you import your 3D model into Sketchfab, you can get this file, GLTF. I don't know how to pronounce it. So GLTF, uh, this file. But every time I import this file, it's not really working for me. Maybe it will work for some people, but sometimes uh, then Studio just shut down. And GLTF, I think this types of file, um, I think it's best for uh, web AR or web VR, web XR. So uh, if you want to put a 3D model uh, on the website, this is your best format. But as for then Studio, uh, and, and I think uh, Spark AR, you can pretty much use GLTF to put in. And this, that is the easiest one. You just drag one file and everything just done. Yeah, but uh, I would suggest you use FBX and OBJ. Okay, so let's start it. I know there are a lot of guidelines and I mean, if you just read and you never get things done, so you, you might as well just read a little bit and do a little bit and come back to read a little bit and come, come back to work. Yeah, because I think if we just read all the guidelines, and we might lose our interest and nothing get done. Okay, so let's let's get things done. Okay, so yeah, so basically, um, if you go to the oh uh, we kind of okay, let's save it. Oh, uh, not segmentation. Well, would okay snap. Okay, okay, uh, monster monster demo okay so let's save this file and then let's jump back into our land studio mm. yep okay cool okay so let's reopen it okay cool so pretty much you can uh, get the template and see how it goes and you can open it and kind of switch uh, your uh, 3d model uh, from this but today uh, I think it's easier to just start with a new one okay so pretty much you can yeah see okay so what I'm going to do is to import import uh, okay so let me do it. Okay, so you can go to Sketchfab, but all you need to do is to credit the, the creator 
because Laos are like kind-hearted three D modeler. They kind of spend their time and did a lot of free stuff for people to download it. So you have to give them some credit. So it means that you need to share their information and say, oh, this model was done by somebody. So they feel like, oh yeah, I help you. And this model was built by me. So yeah, you help them to promote them and you got the 3D model. So it's kind of like a benefit each other. So yeah, so you go to sketchfab.com and uh, there are some, you, you can search whatever type you want. Some of, the, some of them you need to pay. Some of them, you see like the top one, you have to pay. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, some of them, uh, it's free for you to download. So yeah, let's click downloadable. Because if you don't click this, you will see a lot of just like art and you couldn't even download it. So click downloadable. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, I think I like this one. <laughs> I think this one's cool. Okay, so we pretty much see this one. And then Snapchat has a really strict uh, like file size. You need to make sure this file size is under 4 MB. So I would suggest uh, you to, if you just do it first, like this is your first time to work on Lens Studio and importing 3D object, I would highly suggest you to do it as simple as possible because the first time when I imported a 3D model, I I made it too complicated. Uh, the file size was too big. And uh, yeah, and then the, the file was so beautiful, so good. And I was like, no, I have to get this file, get into uh, Lens Studio. I have to, because this is so cool. So I went back to Maya and I even uh, kind of like reduce, trying to reduce the size of texture or whatever, and like uh, the vertex, whatever. And then the file size is not go was not going down. So I was extremely frustrated. So, what I was thinking about is that or if I want to do something in uh, Lens Studio, I have to keep the size super, super small. So low poly, you see like the polygon, like uh, this is kind of like low poly. Uh, what's high, like what's high poly? Something like that, maybe. It's kind of like a, you see this, this looks, whoa, I think it's fine, but compared to the previous one that we choose this one looks kind of more you know it seems like easier and the file size is smaller so i would suggest you to import this types of model first so you won't get really frustrated at the first time like me i i think i I deal with that model. I think I deal with two. One was like I hired somebody to do the 3D modeling and then everything looks so beautiful, so good and rig and yeah, I kind of did some automate animation as well. And then the file size was so big, so big. And every time when I import to that studio, it crashed or it, it didn't work. Yeah, so yeah, I would highly suggest you to if you are just started, please do something simple. Don't make your life too hard so you don't want to do it again. And yeah, you will crash the software. Okay, so yeah, I think this looks cool. Yeah, so let's download it. Okay, so there will be a lot of different, uh, yeah, like a file size. For example, like FBX. FBX is kind of like if you use Maya, and after you export, it's kind of like the Maya, uh, Maya's uh, file, it's called FBX. And I think FBX works so well in uh, a lot of different uh, software. So I would highly suggest you to do FBX. And then GLTF is for website. So yeah, so let's download it. Oh shit, okay, download it. 
Okay, you download it, right? And then you will see uh, some, let's see, some source, which is FBX. This is like a purity mesh. And this is kind of like the, this is so small. This is like the texture. Okay, so I think this is really, really good. Okay, so let's do it. You go to resources, add new, import files. Okay, so we go here, assets, monster assets, source. Okay, so uh, monster. Uh, yeah, so we go here and click. And then, yeah, I think you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you need to play around with it because there are, I, I would say that uh, for this types of software, it's so easy to use and it's not like a Unity because Unity, you have to write ex the, the right code without error spelling. But this types of software is so good, like Lens Studio or uh, Spark AR. All you need to do is to drag and drop and click and change the slide. So yeah, and if some, something is wrong, it just crash. You just reopen it again. So you might as well just try it. Yeah, unlike Unity, you need to debug if you play too much and everything crash and sometimes the file just crash you couldn't even open it again so i really appreciate that studio and spark now let everyone to play around and go crazy and the um, developer interface the team is really really good and i wish unity can be can the, the interface and the usage like uh like uh, the interface can be much easier for designer to use rather than writing a lot of code and if I spell anything wrong and everything just wrong oh you see okay so okay so what did I do well, what I did was to add new import files and I drag the uh, uh, FBX scene and everything just done oh my god this is amazing and I didn't even need to do texture. What's going on? I don't know. Okay, whatever. Okay, so let's zoom in. Click this dude. I think I probably need to do this. Okay, so this is similar to uh, to Maya's interface. So you just click this dude and hit option, and you can see it wrong. Yeah, right. And then do you want <laughs> it to attach your face? You can do that. Like when your head move, this little do move, but uh, you can do R and kind of scale it, right? Kind of want it to look cool. Ooh, it has animation, which is amazing. The file size is small and texture is all done. Oh shit. And texture is all done. Animation is all done. I don't need to do anything. This 3D model, this. 3D model is super amazing. I need to give the credit to the creator. It saved me a lot of time. Okay, so uh, what will I do? Ooh, I will switch the camera. Oh shit, okay, I need to go back to this. Yeah, this one is the default one. This one is the live camera. So you see, yeah, I have different can choose different, you can do the street bite, you can do the, yeah, monster in front of your uh, a house or just in your balcony, monster in sky, monster, monster just get off the stairs. I think this looks like an arson or south, south campus. Yeah, okay, so monsters around the tree. Okay, so this is today's intro of 3D model. I know I made it a little too easy. I should like start like getting the hardest model and trying to reduce the size. And I think that types of tutorial, I, I believe I would love to watch like how to 
how to create the exactly it's like you 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 want your 3d model looks so nice but you don't wanna it make it too big so you couldn't import it how to optimize your 3d model inside snap lens i think that will be kind of like advanced um kind of like a, a tutorial for everyone yeah but today <laughs> I just choose the easy one. Yeah, let me show you the failure. It's not failure. It's just like something that takes extra steps. Okay, so if you want to challenge yourself, you can uh, go to the Rocket X, uh, Rocket one, and then you can import the OBJ. I had, I import another OBJ as well so yeah it's interesting that the blue house is not working you couldn't drag the whole blue house here or blue shop i don't know what's this container i don't know so you only can do the yellow one so that's what i find out okay so this dude okay so you probably need to view i don't even know what's going on okay so all you need to do is to kind of like uh Will this work? Oh, oh, okay. So you need to hit F. F means focus. I'm so glad I know a little bit of Maya. Okay, so, wow. Okay, so you can see this. What's going on? It looks like a so freaking weird. It looks like a, an evil queen, you know? Yeah. If you see purple and black, it means that, oh, you need a texture, which is like, oh, shit. Okay, so you go to the inspector, and then you choose material. And usually you can probably use PBR, but, okay, let's see. Yeah, I mean, you probably need to import. I mean, I use diff diffuse. Let's try. Yeah, because... I remember the texture is diffuse. Yep. <laughs> so I just do this. I add a material and it's called diffuse. And I go to the diffuse material. And then I put diffuse. This is so good. Yeah. So that's. <laughs> I did it. Okay, so yeah, I mean, you can always put some animation or interaction. And yeah, and this works, right? It's cool. It looks, still look like, not really like, uh, uh, kind of like, I mean, it's, it still looks like a queen, alien queen. But yeah, but you know, it's rocket. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.